morning and that was the cathedral last night all lit up and now now at the morning it's a busy place you see the military is here and they are preparing for a military funeral a uh, pretty high ranking one but we've got marines we've got army some air force they're all inside and they're doing basically funeral practice for a fallen soldier and they do this a couple times a year because they have they have uh, memorial services for generals and whatnot. Not sure who's coming up next, but uh, quite a quite a lot of troops out here today. I, on the other hand, just dropped my kids from. I, on the other hand, have just dropped off my kid at day camp, and I'm not really awake. So <laughs> I'm gonna go back home, and I'm gonna eat some breakfast, and then we're gonna go out and see what's going on in the city. So, guys, uh, kind of a rainy day. This automatic door is broken. Open. <laughs> there we go. Hang on a second. Fixed. Okay, so kind of a rainy day right now. I'm thinking I got to go get some noodles for lunch. And I'm going to do a live stream for lunch uh, just to test some new software on the phone. And then we'll go down, see what's up down on the mall. Maybe go into a museum today because it's rainy. Thank you. It's pretty good. So guys, I'm down by the Jefferson Memorial, Lincoln Memorial. I just parked down here. And we're just gonna go wander around, yeah? Now, there's not much going on officially, so let's just see what kind of cool stuff we can come across. Like the river. This is the Potomac River. And there's a bunch of geese down there, and there's some dude about to go, I think he's going to go water ski. Maybe. Oh, well. So here's those geese I was telling you about. They're just hanging out being dumb. So, guys, I uh, grabbed a red bike. Red ones, as you know, are not battery assisted and very heavy and very annoying. Oh wow, there's like a tiki boat. It's like a bar slash cruise tour boat. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that one day. Uh, I'm gonna go down to the Lincoln Memorial because I have detected an electric bike at the rack at the Lincoln Memorial and then we'll go wander around the mall in a little bit more comfort. It's it's like mid 80s but cloudy and it's been raining on and off for the last hour and they say it's going to do this all afternoon so <laughs> we may have to take shelter at some point in this little journey or we may just get wet uh, let's go figure it out so there's the lincoln memorial with a bunch of ugly cameras on top of it Ugh. find a better way to do that guys and over here is a bike rack with an electric bike. Woohoo! Score. Let's dump this one Pony Express style and ride off on the black electric bike. Alrighty. Here we are at the Lincoln on a nice electric bike. Or it can go a lot faster than those old red ones. Not a lot of tourists today. I think the weather and them being in the middle of the week kind of uh, mellowed out the numbers. But, I'm sure they'll be back this weekend. They always are. Hmm, not many baby ducks today. Let's go look for baby ducks. Because we were out here the other day in the heat, and the baby ducks were kind of hiding up in the shadows, in the shade. But I suspect we might see a few today. That's the Vietnam Wall over there. The Vietnam Wall Memorial, the Korean Wall is on the other side, but it's under renovation right now. They're adding uh, the names of the fallen to the Korean War Memorial. And that's going to open up again pretty darn soon. Let's go this way. Eh, maybe they're out there. So yeah, that's the Korean War Memorial over there, the Korean Memorial that's being renovated. And then up there, that's the Park Police Mounted Division. That's their new horse center that uh, 
they are building. Oh, there's some baby ducks. There's a whole bunch of baby ducks. And the mommy's protecting them. Those are some little ones. The other babies we've seen are much bigger. I don't know what the predators are. Oh, there's a whole bunch of ones over there. Right, let's get the big, oh, oh no, it's a baby geese, baby geese. right over here. <laughs> okay, momentary baby duck, baby geese break. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Of course, we have no schedule. Everything's regularly. Down we go into the World War II Memorial, which also doubles as a bathing pool for little children who are hot from walking around in Washington, D.C. Lots of kids enjoying their freedom to put their feet in the fountain. And there he goes, the Lincoln Memorial down there. Alrighty, let's swing over here and show you the secret art. Right there. Kilroy was here. As we uh, make our way up this side of the ellipse, up into the tourist bits. All the tourists are in the street, or in the sidewalk. I don't know if they're ever going to open the other side. They probably they promised the Congress they would when they built the fence, but then, of course, nobody really remembers those sort of things. Uh, there is a sidewalk on the other side. You can go right up to the fence. People haven't been able to do it in years. Ooh, quite a few motorcade cars out there. And let's swing down this way. That's the White House Visitor Center. I thought about going there today to take a look at the uh, big board. So I know a lot of you guys are interested in that. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just dump this bike and go into the Visitor Center. I don't like going into the Visitor Center because the security is nuts. I mean, I've got to like basically take off every piece of metal I've got in my pockets, my backpack. And trust me, I'm filled with metal. I mean, I've got four cameras and, a, and two phones and a battery and a watch and a Fitbit and I mean five five cameras today yeah five cameras two phones yeah it's it's a lot but but I know you guys are interested so what do you say we'll go very ominous clouds that way yeah very dark and mysterious but we're gonna go this way still dark and mysterious but not as wet. We're going to cut through the backside of the new World War I Memorial, the National World War I Memorial. Not to be confused with the National World War I Museum, which is elsewhere in this country. But this is the new memorial they just opened last year. Though it's not quite finished. There's a big statue they're still building. Huh. Every evening at 5 p.m., a man dressed in uniform of World War I plays taps. I'll we'll have to catch that. I have to catch that. What time is it? It's 3.49. I think I've got a phone call tonight at 5, though. Whether our lives and our deaths were for peace and a new hope or for nothing, we cannot say. It is you who must say this. They say, we leave you our deaths. Give them, give them their meaning. We were young, they say. We have died. Remember us. Archibald McLeish. And that is the World War I Memorial. 
Uh, there's actually going to be a beautiful statue on this side in the reflecting pool area. It's just not finished yet. There's a drawing of the statue that is uh, up and on display, but still not the whole thing. So let's, uh, let's, let's stay on the grass <laughs> instead of a sidewalk and make our way down here. A lot of weeds here. There, White House Visitor Center. And now I gotta start disrobing all my gadgets. Apple Watch, Fitbit, phones, microphones, keys. Like I said, it really, really is a pain to go in this building. Okay guys, we're in here and I have three minutes <laughs> because it closes at four o'clock. It's 3.50, I got eight minutes, 3.52. White House Visitor Center. Nice view of the White House model. That's the East Wing, West Wing. That's the colonnade, the 45 second commute. The president's bedroom is that left window over there. You can't see it from the ground because there's a big tree. And then of course, when he comes out for the helicopter, he comes out that door or here. But sometimes he comes out of the Oval Office and comes over to the helicopter. So I can usually catch him walking that way. Let's go over here. There's the, the banner for Joe Biden. That was put up. It's been up for about a year now. And over here is the, the big So oh, that's a list of all the presidents. Or the former presidents, I'm not really sure. It doesn't have Biden, it does have Trump. Though. Trump could still serve again, whereas Obama, Clinton, and Bush uh, cannot. So maybe that's why they still have his numbers open. So some of you asked if this is former presidents, and I don't know, but I did see a picture of the internet from 2014 that had Barack Obama. So Obama was still serving as president when they put his picture up, but Biden hasn't been added yet. Wow, it's dark. See, I told you they were closing. They just kicked us all out. 3.55, they want to go home. And it's time for me to leave. <laughs> so that is the Willard Hotel. That's actually been discussed a lot in the January 6 hearings as there was kind of a, a, a command room set up in the Willard Hotel. I, on the other hand, wanted to mention Captain America Winter Soldier. If you watch that movie closely, there's a scene where they throw a Hydra agent off the top of the hotel. And that scene was filmed in front of the Willard Hotel. The roof of that was filmed probably in L.A., but they did the exterior shots in front of this Willard Hotel from Captain America Winter Soldier. It's this light. Should just catch him. Ooh, let's go this way. Yeah, we'll cut through this one. I would have gone through the narrow one, but I've got my camera on my, my shoulder here, and the big lens makes me about four or five inches wider than I'm used to. <laughs> A little safer that way. I think you guys hear the bells, it's four o'clock. Guy's checking his weapon. Just they keep the weapons underneath. That's a good place for it. And no marine at the moment. Maybe they have called all the guys have turned their, their lights on, getting set for their evening news broadcast. It is four o'clock, so I guess the early early news shows have gone on at four. I don't even know when local news is. Local news used to be at five. And then National at 6. Oh, there is a Marine, guys. He is there. So that's Pebble Beach, where all the reporters are preparing for their evening broadcasts. And over there at the West Wing door, we have a Marine. Let me get you the big camera. 
Oh, some White House official. Or news guy. News guy, news guy, news guy. Something's coming up. Something I have. So there's a little something I haven't shown you in a while. That is the White House Avenger missile battery. And that is on top of the new executive office building, providing close-in air defense for the White House complex. And here's your White House. And let's go up to, as my sons call it, the big stick. Washington Monument. Oh, raindrop. I just got hit by a raindrop. That or a bird saw me and decided to take a shot. It is ominous. There is little big dark clouds over there. A bunch of brothers playing soccer. Okay, let's take the less touristy route over here. We're getting we're getting peppered now by rain. The Jefferson Memorial is gonna have to wait for another day, guys. It's over there. But to get there I'd basically be consigning myself to taking a shower. Well, let's Head back this way. Last. Ah, getting wet. Tell you what, one more monument before we get totally and completely doused by rain. Let's just sneak in here. The Martin Luther King Memorial. Right here on the edges of the Tidal Basin. One of our newest memorials here in Washington. I guess Eisenhower is now newer. Out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. Pretty cool. Has a lot of his famous quotes uh, on the side here. And let's see if we can, let's just go back out the way we came. Because otherwise we're going to get soaked. So guys, that's Wednesday in Washington. It's pretty dull, I know, pretty dull. Wasn't a lot going on. But tomorrow I'm going live at 10 a.m. We've got Supreme Court opinions coming out again. And it's going to be even crazier than it was last time. Uh, there are 13 opinions left, and the abortion case is probably going to be the last one. So I don't know if it's going to come tomorrow, but it's coming soon. And every day they delay, more and more people show up at the Supreme Court to protest. So we'll be covering that live tomorrow morning. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell. That way you'll know when I go live. And uh, we'll have some other videos tomorrow. Don't know what, but we'll find something cool. Thanks a lot for watching today, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow.